Hi everyone, it's Becca. Um, here is my first video using a, a Cricut cartridge. I use the Accent Essentials Cricut cartridge. So I'm just roughing up the edges right now of this shape. I used it from the Accent Essentials Cricut cartridge and I used uh, Fit to Page. And so I'm just roughing up the edges and then I'm going to go ahead and ink all of them. And I really like how that turned out and it's going to be the base of my layout. So once I'm done inking it up, I'll adhere it on. And so I cut a whole bunch of different embellishments from the Accent Essentials cartridge, all different sizes from 3 inches uh, down to uh, 1 inch. And I'm doing the same thing with the images. I'm uh, roughing up the edges and then I'm going to ink them. These are two 4 by 6 photos of my nephew. And so this is for his scrapbook album that I've been working on on and off. And so... Um, I'm just going to ink them up with a brown. Just uh, Inking just gives it a little bit of an extra pop. So um, that's what I did there. And then I'll adhere that down. And I'm not adhering it right at the edge because I want to tuck a bunch of things underneath it. So I have some arrows that I cut from the cartridge. And I'm using some Tombow Mono Multi Glue. And I'm adhering them down. Um, I'm not using very much, just a tiny little bit, just enough to stick it down. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. I'm trying to work kind of on a diagonal with the embellishments that I'm using. So here are some flourishes that I also cut from the cartridge. And I decided to make them peeking out. So I went ahead and tucked them under the photo. And, um, and then adhered them on. And so that's uh, one of the reasons why I didn't adhere too close. So it gives me lots of um, ability to tuck things in. And so I'm just adjusting and getting it where I want it. Now these are also some stars cut from the same cartridge. And normally at this point, what I would do is I would go, okay, I think I'm just going to use some stickers now, find some stars. But I'm really challenging myself to use this Cricut cartridge for embellishments and um, get uh, a lot of use out of it. So all these stars are cut at all different sizes and I'm just adhering them um, all randomly. And I should also mention that all of the shapes, um, before I put them on, and I didn't do this on the video, but I cut them all out and then I sprayed all the yellow pieces with bronze, um, Tattered Angels bronze, and then I uh, Missed it all the blue pieces with uh, blue tattered angels, angels glimmer mist. So I made this flower just three different sizes of the same flower cut from the cartridge, and I'm just rolling up all the leaves. I think I did two and a half, one and three quarters, and one inch. I'm pretty sure that's what the sizes were for this flower, and then I just put a little prad in the middle. And curling the leaves up just, or the petals up just gives it a little bit more dimension. So I'm sticking that in the corner there um, and adhering that down. And then I'm just going to add another uh, star. And I really like these stars. I think they, they're not like shaped like perfect. They're more wonky stars and I think that it's really cute. So I have a thing where I like to be symmetrical. So I'm using different sizes, but I'm kind of sticking to similar uh, elements on uh, all on the diagonal. So if you see a star on one side, there's a good chance it'll be on the other. So here is another arrow cut from the same cartridge, and it's got a curve in it. So I'm just putting that down behind it. And then I got the idea that I wanted to... Um, add some strips. Uh, these are just from my scraps. So I have a brown one and a navy blue one. Um, but I decided to do this after I had already adhered um, the images on with the glue. So I had to kind of uh, figure out how I was going to do it. So I was able to tuck it underneath and make it work. Um, normally you would want to do this before you stuck the images on, but I didn't really have like a plan while I was doing this. I was just kind of going and seeing what ended up happening. So uh, sticking those in was a afterthought. And um, so this one I had to end up lifting up the images a little bit. And it was a good thing that I hadn't put in a lot of glue. 
so that I was able to do that. Um, and if you look in the corner there, um, that's the paper pack that I used for um, the image. It's all about boys die cuts with a view paper pack. So that's um, where this uh, plaid paper came from. I just forgot to mention that. So I'm just adhering this down and I was having a little bit of trouble tucking it in because it's so such small pieces to use. And so I was just trying to get it to um, all to stick together and um, do what I wanted it to do. And then I just ended up adhering down the corner there. And I cut them on an angle to give a little bit of a kind of like grounding the image. And so then I decided to use the two little scraps I had cut off and put them up top. Um, like I said, very symmetrical. So I'm just tucking that into the picture and then I'm going to do the same with the brown. Um, I had realized uh, that when I went to do the brown that it was on the wrong side so I just rolled off the ATG and then put it on the other side. Right now I'm just folding over any of the ATG that was on the side since this is smaller than a quarter inch is what the ATG, ATG rolls out. So I decided I didn't like this flower and so what I did is I decided to add stars like it um, with another pop dot just like I had in the bottom. And so I'm really liking how it's coming together at this point. And now I'm deciding what stickers I want to use for the title. And while I was doing that I found um, some King Company word stickers. And I decided that I really wanted to use when I chose the word comfort. So I'm just trying to figure out where I want to place it um, so that it doesn't just look out of place. So I was thinking of tucking it in, but I like the idea of it behind the arrow. But So I just cut off the edge, and then um, I made a little banner. And I just tucked it in and put it a little bit on an angle. And um, I really like how that turned out. And so now I am doing the title, and I've decided to go with those um, stickers. I got them from Walmart. You could, if you didn't want to use stickers, you could easily use... Um, letters from your Cricut cartridge, but I just wanted the dimension and um, the different colors I thought went really well. So the title is going to be My Little Doggy because um, the ba my nephew Baby Lucas is um, playing with a little puppy in this picture. So that's what I decided. And I'm using the um, plaid as um, a point to keep my letters straight. So um, and I'll adjust them in a little bit. So now I want to add journaling. If you didn't want to add the journaling, you could easily just um, write it. But since this is for somebody else's scrapbook, I always put journaling in so they know where to do it. I sprayed this with the Tattered Angels Glimmered Mist because I thought the white was just a little too um, bright. So I'm just roughing up the edges and um, I corner chomp the corners just to make it a little more circular and then I'm just inking up the edges. So again, since I didn't plan this out in advance, I had to lift up my um, let or not my letters, my images. And so I liked how that was. So then I just put some ATG on there and then stuck that on. And then I just had to add some glue again to the images just to make sure that they would stick on. So right now I'm just at the adjusting point, um, fixing everything up. So um, the layout's pretty much done. Um, I hope this has helped you guys think of a way to use Accent Essentials Cricut cartridge. I'm going to be doing a card, I think, for my next video, um, just to with Accent Essentials cartridge, and gonna try and get my use out of it. So I hope that you all join along. And I would love to see what you come up with. Um, so thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.